I posted some earrings that I printed on my UV printer and then cut on my laser and I got a lot of questions about how I create the cut lines to cut around the image on the earrings. There are a lot of ways that you can do this within Illustrator and Photoshop. And I'm gonna show you the two ways that I do it, but it's really gonna depend on your software, the type of image, and you're just gonna kinda have to work around and see what works best for you. The easiest way, I think, is by pulling the image into Photoshop. So right now I'm in Illustrator and I'm gonna export it, which I already did, and then I'm gonna pull it into Photoshop. So here it is in Photoshop. Go over to Adjustments, select black and white, and then you're gonna drag all of these to the black. So now it's gonna look like this. And that's all you do. This won't work with every image that you have. If it has white along the borders, it's not always gonna work. So that's why I'm gonna show you a different method later, but it works really well with this particular image. Then we're going to export it as a PNG with a transparent background. I already have one saved as tree, but we're gonna pretend I don't. And I'm gonna save it as tree. Now we're gonna go back into Illustrator. We're gonna push this one aside because we're gonna place the one that we just saved from Photoshop and hit place. We're just gonna tap that there. And now it looks like this. We're going to go to object. We're gonna go down to image trace. We're gonna do make and expand. So now you have the image. It really doesn't look different. You just have a square around it. We're gonna ungroup it. So now we're gonna remove this bounding box. That's what this is here. Select it again, I release the compound path. And now we're gonna remove all of these little extra lines. And now we just have the black and white. Now we can go and we can change it to fill. Nothing's filled in and we have a black or whatever stroke you need. There's your outline. And then you just create your circle, which here, let me show you how to do that real quick. You wanna create the little hole for your earring loop. You draw an ellipse, hold down shift, and your circle doesn't matter what size because we're gonna type it in here. I make all my earring holes 0.065, oops, not 0 0.65, 0.065. And then we're gonna create a circle around it for the outer portion. You can do an offset or you can do it like me. I like to just draw it, we'll center it here and here. That looks actually pretty good. Make that a compound path. And then we're gonna center those. I'm gonna bring this down a little bit so it doesn't break off. You don't want a lot of indentations where the loop meets the actual earring because it has potential to break. That looks pretty good. Center it again. I like to use this tool. It's the Shape Builder. And then with it selected, you just drag it where you want it to combine and now you have an earring and you can resize it to fit your actual image and make a cut line out of it. So that's the first way and that's how you use Photoshop. If that doesn't work, it's a little bit more work but it's still pretty easy in my opinion, is just keeping it in Illustrator and using your curvature pen tool. I'm gonna select your curvature pen tool here and just start drawing. You're probably not gonna have a stroke set up, so you do your first couple and you just follow the border of your image. And then once you get a couple nodes put in, then you can go up and change it. You still don't wanna fill, but you do want a stroke color. We'll just select black. You can change the color later if you want. It looks like your line is stuck, but it's not. Just go back over and start drawing. It's gonna keep curving. As long as you follow the border of your image, it's gonna keep curving pretty easily where you want it. Just do it in small sections. If you have like a change in shape, like a curve, you can wanna follow that curve like I am. One single click adds the node. If you have a straight line, I messed that area up and I'll show you how to fix it later. So right now it's curved. If I want it to be straight, I double click. So double click and now it's straight. And it's gonna stay straight until you curve it again. We'll speed this up. I don't think I need to show you the whole tree, but it only takes a few minutes and it's really easy to do once you get the hang of it. And you can, like I said, go back, see how I messed that up. You can go back once you are done and you can fix it. So I'm just going really fast. It doesn't have to be perfect either or not. All right, so you're done. And now it's disconnected from your lines. 
and you want to come over here and you want to fix your mess ups. You zoom in and still with the curvature pen tool, you grab the node and you fix it and just drag it to where you want it. And then I think I messed up over here. Yep, we're going to fix that one. Just drag that down here. And that's it. And then you just create your circle like you did before. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy.